Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley. I hope you're well and welcome to today's vlog. This was my favorite answer from last week's question of the week, which was what are you guys doing to get ready for spring cleaning? So today is very exciting because it is finally warm enough and sunny enough that the polo field actually is totally dry now and we are good to go to ride on it. My dad has spent like the last week basically like prepping the field and cutting, rolling, all that kind of stuff, overseeding, I don't know. I don't know grass, he, he's doing all that stuff. But um, today it is finally, finally time that we are actually allowed to start riding outside again. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be taking Missy and I'm going to be heading out onto the polo field for the very first time in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and let's get started. Okay, so for today's vlog, I'm thinking that I was going to go with a just polo saddle and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to be pretty light with her leg stuff because I don't think I'm actually going to stick and ball today. I'll probably just... I'll pro oh, the why Only one... One bell boot. Why didn't I put these together? Um, I want to go really light with tack today because I don't really want to do a whole lot. I'm probably going to just um, ride around. Not going to stick and ball yet because um, I have a feeling that Missy's going to be pretty excited. And I definitely didn't want to go with Savannah. I thought about riding Savannah, but um, she's a little bit of a cuckoo. So um, I wasn't really feeling like dying today. <laughs> oh, good smile. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be taking out Miss Canada. I'm probably just going to throw her in some polo tack. I probably will actually put her in a eat light bridle too, because she doesn't really need she doesn't need her polo bridle to go go cantering and galloping across the field. So. Little miss, are you ready to go out onto the polo field for the first time? Come on, let's go. Good girl. Okay, sorry for any wind sounds because um, I am filming on my phone. I didn't really feel like uh, carrying my camera out to the polo field in case I were to drop it, which would uh, kind of suck. So I'm just heading over to the field now. I have to go the long way. So um, I will check in with you guys once I'm there. is so excited. Oh my god. You can relax, Mare. The field looks absolutely beautiful right now. Oh. I miss riding out here so much. Oh my gosh, I miss riding outside. Well, now that I'm out here, um, Miss Canada is all warmed up from trotting out here. So um, I'm going to do a bit of cantering. I'm gonna check in on Maddie and Julia who are both doing some sets over there out on the field. So, um, oh, I'm so happy to be back outside. I'm so happy. The sun feels so nice. Is that your happy dance that you're outside again? What? Is that your happy dance for being it's outside? so nice out. <laughs> I mean, they did just move over there, but like, it's kind of fun, honestly. God, you having fun, Maddie? Yeah. This is your first time ever riding on the polo field? Well, I'm gonna go and do some actually fun stuff now. All right, Missy. Are you ready for a little bit of, a little bit of cantering?
Missy, just walk. Just walk. <laughs> you can walk. I know you can. I believe in you. Slow down. Well, um, I'm on my way back to the barn right now. Um, I absolutely miss riding outside so much. Like, you guys have no idea. Actually, my parents are actually sitting over by their pond. So maybe I will go and pay them a visit while I walk Miss Canada out. She's still pretty sweaty and huffing a bit, so. Don't be spooky, please. It's not that scary. feels so weird riding here because we've never been allowed to ride. I've never ridden over by the house. Miss Canada's taking a shit on your lawn. Chuck. Okay. Chuck, eh? Hello. Watch out. Don't get kicked. All right, Miss Chunky. Let's go back to the barn, get you a bath. I think you're almost cool too and you're done breathing heavy, so. Let's get you back and bathe and then you can go to bed. I mean, it doesn't really feel like you should be going to bed because it's still so early, but. I'm so happy to be riding outside again. Oh, it's so warm. <laughs> you look a bit strange. <laughs> also, I was in the front, so that's why I moved to the side. It was... I'm so happy to be riding outside again. I've said it like seven times in this video by now, but oh my god, I'm so, no, please don't move. I've said it so many times at this point, but I'm so happy. All right, Miss Canada, you're done. I just kicked her in the neck. Did you, did you see that? I went to get off and I just went ah, into her neck. Yay. Oh, no, don't dodge my kiss. <laughs> she didn't like that. You were so good. All right, sweaty lady, are you ready to go outside for a bath? Hmm? You could definitely use a bath. Come on, lady. Let's go. So in last week's vlog, I got a question asking about how I actually tell Savannah and Miss Canada apart. Um, and there's a couple different ways. So, and I did answer them in the comments, but I figured I would do a little bit of a little video explanation for them. So the number one difference is that they actually have different head shapes. So it's kind of like if you were the parent of twins, like after a while, you just kind of can tell the difference between them. But like the... <laughs> The number one difference between them is the face shape of them, well, and their body, but like when you're just looking at them in the stall, their head shape is different. 
So like Savannah, she has a very angular face and it's not too long. But then if we look down at like Miss Canada over here, Her face is a lot longer and she also has different shaped eyes. Hers kind of looks sad all the time, actually. Um, Miss Canada also has a very, very chonky body. Like she is much chonkier than Savannah is. And like, this is Savannah. She has little white spots on her too. Um, random little scars or I don't know, little white spots randomly. Um, but yeah, she's a little bit fat right now. So you can't see a huge difference between their weight savannah also has this weird little mole but um i don't really need to tell them apart by those things just because like i know them well enough that i can tell their faces apart but um hey excuse you don't don't try to push the door open pretty much if you have like two of the exact same color horses you'll you'll eventually be able to tell them all apart oh miss canada you tired yawn again that was so cute i've owned miss canada for about six years now and I've owned Savannah for coming up on four. So um, it's definitely been a little bit of a while, but I can definitely tell how other people would have a hard time because they do look very similar in the same color. Well, I gotta put all my tack away. I actually have to put my tack away too from when I rode Ophelia that I didn't film. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all my tack away, let Miss Canada cool out. You're free. Literally as soon as we're off the polo field, all the seagulls come back. Well, they're fertilizing the polo field, I guess. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun finally getting to go back out on the polo field. This week's question of the week is going to be, do you like riding inside or outside more? I definitely love outside so much more than inside. Um, I love riding outside in the sun. I like that I can actually gallop, whereas in the arena, you literally, you can't gallop basically. You can either like fast canter or canter. You can't really get to a gallop unless you have a really big arena, which like our arena is pretty big, but not big enough to gallop in for sure. So I love riding outside. I love trail rides. I love outdoor polo. I love all that kind of stuff that's all out on the grass in the sun. And I am so glad that we're finally riding outside again. I would love to hear your answers down in the comments below. And if you liked today's video, you can like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos that go up on Thursdays and Sundays. If you want to check out my other socials like TikTok and Instagram, I'll have those on screen as well as linked down in the description box below. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you later.